to examine the devastating power of kicks executed by fighters like Shogun and Machida, we brought in one of the UFC's best light heavyweights and a superior leg striker. And in Vera. To analyze the differences between Muay Thai style kicks like Shogun uses and Machida's karate kicks, Brandon will use both techniques on one target, the instrumented head of our crash test dummy. Tell me about the difference between Shogun and Machida's kicks. Muay Thai, we strike with our shin, karate mostly with the foot. We've got our crash test dummy all instrumented up. Now it's time to kick like Machida. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> Using a karate style kick, Brandon smashes the dummy, causing its head to experience 66 Gs of acceleration. How does that compare to a Muay Thai style kick like Shogun uses? Ready and three, two, one, go! Incredibly, Vera's Muay Thai style kick generates 80 Gs of acceleration in the dummy's head. 21% more than the karate kick. This stunning impact is generated by what's called kinetic linking. Energy from the ground shoots up Brandon's leg, hips, and torso. Winding up like a spring, Brandon's rotational velocity of 2,000 degrees per second unleashes over 2,600 pounds of force. This is like getting blindsided by NFL linebacker Ray Lewis at top speed. But check this out. While the Muay Thai style kick is more powerful, the karate style is much faster. Comparison of our high speed footage reveals that the karate kick is a third of a second faster than the Muay Thai kick. That's 27% faster. To put it in boxing terms, it's like the difference between a jab and a straight punch. Let your guard down and you can go down in a heartbeat. The Shogun Machida rematch really showcases contrasting kicking styles. The devastating power of Muay Thai versus the lightning fast punishment of karate. That's why the man whose arm is raised in victory could be the man whose leg does the most damage. For Sports Science on ESPN, I'm John Brankis.